Hey guys, Adam Katz from DogTrainerToolbox.com as well as the Dog Trainer Marketing Group on Facebook. Today, I've got a great episode for you. I think you're going to learn a lot and this is going to be super helpful in helping you make your website convert better. You know, if you're getting 10 clicks, uh, 10 visitors to your website, and right now you're only getting one out of 10 who are picking up the phone and calling you, if you can just change some of the words on that website, so that you get two out of 10 instead of one out of 10, you're able to get two out of 10. Then you've literally just doubled your revenue. You've doubled the number of leads that you're going to get. How do you do that? You do that by changing what you say on the website. And so I'm going to take you through my video critique of Seth Murakowski's, uh, uh, what is it called? Pet, uh, pawmanners.com website. That's his um, website for his local a dog training business. He recently started this business. He has a lot of um, experience in the working dog stuff, especially having been a law enforcement canine handler. Um, Seth is a really good guy and he he's using our Google ad service, but really didn't feel like he was getting the most amount of leads as he could from it. So I'm going to do this little critique of his website to hopefully give him some ideas and insights on how to change some of what's on his website and get better results from the targeted traffic that we're sending him with our Google ad campaign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over what I like about this website first, and then we'll spend the majority of the time digging into what Seth can do to improve the website to get better results. So what I like is that this website is very family friendly and he, I know this for a fact, he hired a professional to design the website and you can tell it's got great colors you know th this is the type of website that a housewife or a soccer mom can land on and it's very non-threatening at the same time it looks like it's the website for a professional business some of you people have websites that looks like they, they look like they've been made with uh, children's finger paint and you know that's not always the worst thing in the world if you have amazing copy on your website copy is the the text the persuasive text that you put on your website. But most of you have terrible copy as well. So first thing you got to do with your website is you need to get somebody who can help you make it look professional. And I think Seth has done a good job with that. He's picked really good pictures. You notice it's not a high speed, low drag thing, even though Seth has a background in law enforcement. You don't see a bunch of guys running around with guns and, and snarling Belgian Malinois and that kind of stuff. It's family friendly because what he's doing with this website, even though he may offer protection dogs sales or working dog stuff uh, uh, as a different part of his business, what he's done here with this website is he's chosen to focus on the pet industry, which is where the bread and the butter is in the dog training industry. It's doing obedience and behavior modification. So again, great pictures, great colors, great overall feel of the website. Another thing he's been really smart about with the design of this website is that he's got his logo in the upper left hand corner and it's small. It's not taking up the prime real estate down here. And then also he's got call for an appointment in the upper right hand corner here, the phone number. It's very easy with this website to figure out, you know, how do I call Seth if I want to get in touch with him? So that that's well done. He's also got these buttons here. Call now to receive your free consultation, schedule your free consultation. So he's not burying how to contact him. He's making it very easy. So that's very good. Um, you know, he's got learn more buttons to dig a little bit deeper. And then down here at the bottom, he's also got his phone number um, and presumably other, I'm going to get into this a little bit later, um, but, uh, and then another button here for, to make an appointment. Um, so that's what I like about the site. Now let's dig into all the things that we can do to make this site so much better. Stick with me. Okay, this area above the fold, before people start to scroll down, is the most important area of your entire website, is, is the prized real estate. And what you put on here will make or break the success of your website. And you're not doing a good job. You've got terrible copy here. This is professional dog obedience training in Lakeland, Florida. Does that sell? Is that doing any work 
to get me as the dog owner to want to pick up the phone and call you. It's not. It's not. And what you've written down here, dog training for all breeds, ages, and behavioral problems. Don't, don't we see the same thing on like literally every dog training website that we visit? With over 10 years experience in training pet and working dogs. Now, that doesn't persuade me because I can go back to Google and in about five minutes, I can find somebody who's been training for 15 or 20 or 25 years. That's not what makes you, you. And that's not what makes people want to work with you. We at Paw Manners are extending our effective training methods to you and your dog and your, your family dog. I, I don't know that they're effective training methods. Why, why you haven't done anything to convince me that they're effective training methods. This is as empty as one hour you, a, after you have Chinese food for lunch. It's, it, it's not filling. It's not doing any work. It is that stupid employee who sits in the corner of your office and picks his nose. It is not doing any work for you. Now, let's compare that to Joe Camacho's site. Now, Joe uses our Done For You website, or Done For You Dog Trainer website. If you're interested in that, not you, Seth, you've already got a great looking website. But if you're new to the dog training industry uh, and you need a website fast and you don't want to hassle with coming up with good copy, um, you can read more about this at dog, uh, dogtrainertoolbox.com. Um, I want to show you what Joe, I asked Joe just the other day. This was from February 29th. I said, um, you know, how's the website doing? Joe said, Cool. Thanks. I got three inquiries last night. And look, this website is not designed nearly as, it's not as pretty as Seth's website is, but it's got copy that converts. Look at this. Limited time offer. Book a free consultation, evaluation, and temperament test for your dog. Now, everybody offers a free consultation. A lot of people offer a free evaluation temperament test for your dog. And then I've assigned an $89 value. That's a very, very difficult offer to ignore. Also, if you look at 10 other dog training sites, you'll probably see that all, all 10 of them don't have copy that can hold its weight compared to this. So we've given it a monetary value and we've given them, we're giving them something that's very unique for free. And we've attached a time limit. You know, it, this offer may not be there tomorrow. And then as you scroll down, still above the above the fold, but as we look further down here, we've got a quote that says, Tucson Dog Trainer guarantees he can get your dog to listen to you. Now, some of you are sitting at home going, blah, 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 blah. I can't guarantee anything, blah, blah, blah. Look, this is not a contract, okay? And what are we guaranteeing? That the dog can listen to you? Really? If you can't guarantee that, you probably shouldn't even be in business. And if you're worried about that, if you're worried about finding that one in a million dog that you can't get to listen to you, then guess what? You give them their money back because you don't deserve to keep their money in the first place. So get over yourself. You got to start writing copy for your website that differentiates you from everybody else. Okay. This is not like, you're not going to see this kind of copy on every other website in Lakeland, Florida. You're just not. Um, and then what have we got here? We've got a picture of Joe with his, his dog. So it's not like we're hiding behind some corporate entity or some name or some nameless, faceless dog training company. This is a real guy and he looks like a nice guy. I can relate to him. What have we got here? We've got a website that has a very good feel to it, but there's really nothing unique. There's nothing about this here that separates it from every other dog training website everybody else has. So what's happening is people are clicking on the Google ad. They're motivated. We've got a great click-through rate. They're looking for something very specific, you know, a dog trainer near me. And they're clicking on the ad because the ad tickled them a little bit and say, oh, this is interesting. And then they're landing on this site and it's boring and it doesn't make any promises and it doesn't push their emotional hot buttons. Not at all. Okay. Then you've got a list of features here, features of the services, but you know, there's nothing here to make me want to pick up the phone and call you. Now, you've got a button that says call now to receive your free consultation. Why? Why should I call you? You haven't given me a reason. Uh, you got a second button here, schedule your free consultation. I'm not sure. I, I mean, I'm guessing this is one is to call and one is to, to use a booking app or something. Now you've got down here, um, what is this doing? This is not doing anything. Paw Manners. 
You've just reiterated what I already know. I know it because it says it in the top left-hand corner. I know it because, um, you know, you've already told me up here what, what you need. You need headlines. So let me break here and I'm going to show you what types of headlines you can use that will draw people further into your website so that you can then persuade them to pick up the phone and call you. Okay, so this is a, just a random copywriting book. I pulled off the shelf in my personal library, collect copywriting books. And I would encourage you to collect copywriting books too. If you don't have any copywriting books, this is a good one to start with. I also like cash advertising as well. If you didn't catch it, this is Copywriting Secrets by Jim Edwards. It's a decent book. It's not the greatest book ever, but for beginners, it is a decent, solid book. So let's look through here. I'm on page 46. We've got some examples of headlines that you could use on your dog training site. And what he does, I don't know if you could see, but there's some spaces so that you could kind of plug in, plug in your own um, your own service or your own offer. Let, let me go through a couple of them so that you can get some ideas. Warning, here's what every blank needs to know about blank. So what would we do with that? We'd say, warning, here's what every Lakeland dog, Lakeland, Florida dog owner needs to know about training their dog or Warning, here's what every dog owner needs to know about hiring a dog trainer in Lakeland, Florida. Very, very compelling. How do you read that if you're looking for a dog trainer? How do you read that and not want to go deeper into the copy or deeper into the website? It, it's, it's like night and day. I mean, this would work so much better. Let's do a few more. Warning, don't even think about trying to blank until you read this. Warning, don't even think about trying to hire a professional dog trainer in lakeland florida until you read this right powerful powerful stuff here guys here's another one here's the perfect solution if you want to blank here's the perfect solution if you want to get your dog trained fast in lakeland florida here's the perfect solution if you want to blank even if blank Here's the perfect solution if you want to get your dog trained in Lakeland, Florida, even if you're busy and have no time. My proven blank method to blank. My proven method that's guaranteed to work on any dog in Lakeland, Florida. See, and what I'm doing, if you haven't noticed, is I'm making it specific to your area because when people read that, you're matching the message to the market and the market is specifically like dog owners in Lakeland, Florida. So the more I can make them feel like I'm specifically talking to them, the more powerful it is. Okay. Let's look at the testimonial that you've got on the homepage. You've got these little cartoon characters and it says showing you the right way. So again, that not a great headline. It doesn't really say anything. Um, then down here, Seth is an amazing dog handler and a great guy. He will work with you with whatever you're wanting. It should be you are wanting to accomplish with you dog, with your dog. So right off, right off the bat, this may not, you know, this may not offend everybody, but we want to make sure that we've got spelling and punctuation correct. You know, we're spending a lot of money to bring people to the site. We want to make sure that, you know, we, we proofread it. Um, whatever you're wanting to accomplish with your dog. He's very good a explaining at explaining and showing you the right way of doing things. Definitely will be recommending him to anyone in the future, David Maxwell hunting dog. So if I'm a soccer mom, if I'm a family guy, if I'm a, uh, just a local pet owner, I want to see testimonials from other people like me. Now, if you're advertising for hunting dog owners, this might be fine. But I think it would be a lot better to do testimonials the right way. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go back to Joe's site. Now, let's compare this. Again, everybody's comparing. They're probably not just hitting your website. They're looking at a lot of different websites that come up when they do a search for the local dog trainer. And they're looking at your website and some other people's website. And if they like what they see on yours, if they don't immediately call you, they're probably going to bookmark it and then come back to it. Um, so you are competing against everybody else in your area. Let's look at how Joe did it here. What do you notice right off the bat about this testimonial? Well, number one, it's got a picture of a really nice looking woman with a really nice looking dog. Okay, it's hard to not pay attention to this because it's such a great photo. 
both the dog and the owner are very photogenic and you could tell that like they're real people. It doesn't look like it's, um, it's a stock image. Now let's look at the headline. We are forever grateful. Wow. That's pretty powerful. Especially you've got this woman, this real person right here. Let me read it to you. We didn't know what to do when we realized our dog was growing into being aggressive toward other dogs. After I heard about Dog Squad U for the third time at work, I knew I was on track to finding the right person to help us. Joe had Crew, the dog, converted into a completely different dog in 10 minutes. We definitely found the right person. We are forever grateful. Okay, so that's that's like, that's pretty much the best type of testimonial. It's almost like a story. You know, we started out, we didn't know what to do. We're just, you know, we're just like you, the person reading the website. We realized our dog was growing into a handful. You know, I heard about this guy and he turned out to be better than we imagined. And the results were fast. It only took him 10 minutes. And then we've got a real person, Karen Miller, uh, from the city that he's in, Tucson, Arizona. So again, compare this to this. Which one works better? Which one's more persuasive? I can guarantee you, I will bet you any amount of money, this testimonial is way more persuasive than this one. So how do you get great testimonials like that? I've done a full video on my YouTube channel, Cats on Marketing, where I talk in detail about getting great testimonials for your dog training business. But in short, what you're gonna do is always have your cell phone on you. And anytime you're working with a client and they say anything nice about you or the training or how good their dog's doing, you just say, stop, stop. Would you mind if I just got you on, on, on video just for my marketing stuff? And 99 out of 100 times they're going to go, yeah, sure, no problem. And then you pull out your camera or your, your, your phone camera and you get them to say it on video. Now, imagine if you had 25, 50 or 100 testimonials just like this one on your website. Imagine how persuasive that would be. Heck, even if you didn't have anything else on your website, just this, just like a hundred testimonials like this and a call to action and a benefit oriented headline, it would probably work pretty darn well. I would, I would probably gamble money. It would work even better than the existing website that you've got. Now, what do you do? You just started your business. You don't have 25 or 50 or a hundred uh, testimonials like this, but I know you specifically, you are well known in the dog training community. You're well respected. You can get testimonials from your dog trainer friends, call up, you know, everybody that you've worked with that you've sold a dog to and say, Hey, listen, I'm putting together this website. Would you mind, you know, saying a few nice things about me uh, so that I could put it on my website. So even more powerful than this would be if you had another dog trainer from another market saying, Hey, I know, I know great dog trainers because I'm a dog trainer myself in this other city. And I could tell you from experience that they don't come any better than Seth Murkowski. I mean, this, this is the guy that if as a professional dog trainer, if I lived in Florida, I would be training under that type of thing. You get those testimonials from other professionals. If you don't have enough clients to, to get testimonials like Joe has here. Okay, let's look at your services page. Again, we've got a lot of wasted space. This is completely pretty much the same thing that you had on the home page. So I, I, I get the, the, the theory, maybe the designer thought, well, you know, they may land on this page rather than the home page. But when it comes to paid traffic, we're sending the traffic specifically to your home page. So if they then go to the services page, they're seeing the same thing here, which is not great. Um, now, this video is getting a little bit long in the tooth, so I just want to go over this real quick. Um, so I'm going to click on the board and train button here, and we go over here to the board and train. Um, and this talks, uh, board and train is the most effective option uh, offered when it comes to providing your family dog with obedience and manners. <laughs> this option also provides you with the best results at the best price. Um, with board and train, your family will live with us for four to five weeks or your family dog will live with us for four to five weeks or he or she will receive daily one-on-one -on -one training resulting in hundreds of repetitions. Your dog will develop the manners they need while living and training inside of a family home environment. This ensures that your dog is trained in a manner that resembles the loving home to which they will return. 
Uh, at the end of the board and train, you will receive one to two hours of instruction on how your dog was trained. Um, the, and then you've got down here, the board and train option covers the following train behaviors. Sit, down, stay, come, place, leash walking, basic manners. Let me ask you something. Can I find pretty much the exact same claim here or the exact same offer on pretty much every other dog trainer, dog training website in your market? Yes. Um, these are simply features and you need to explain why you teaching each one of these is going to get them a better result than if they go with another trainer. So you need the feature, which is the sit. This is what the sit means. The dog will put his butt down when you tell him to sit. What's the benefit though? The benefit is that when I'm crossing the street and I come and there's a red light, and I'm waiting for the light to change. I can tell my dog sit and I will no longer ever, never, ever have to worry that my dog's going to bolt into the street because he's going to stay sitting there until I tell him take a break or free, right? So I'm, I'm painting a picture for them as to what their dog will look like. Now, you don't even have to go that far. Let me, let me just juxtapose this with what Joe's done here. So if we go to his services page and we go down to board and train, there's a picture of a dog. And what Joe says, I, I really like the copy. It says, imagine leaving your dog with us in our home setting. Okay. Now imagine us bringing a fully transformed, obedient dog back to you in only eight days. Okay. There's that giant claim, right? Now, what happens if somebody shows up and they've got a dog that's going to take 30 days or 60 days? What's Joe going to do? Well, he said eight days on the website. Again, guys, this is not a contract. Okay. If somebody shows up and you can't get the results in eight days, you're going to need 24 days or 30 days or 60 days. You tell them and you tell them why it's going to take longer for their dog. And they say, okay, I appreciate you being honest with me. Great. Let's do it. It's not, a, it's not an issue. Let me continue. Our staff will do all the work. Oh, great. That's awesome. I mean, it's like, I don't have to worry about doing the work. You guys, I just want you guys to do it. And then spend a two hour session with you, teaching you how to maintain your dog's newly found skills. You will also have access to our lifetime drop in group classes. That's a great offer. You'll notice that he doesn't go into a whole lot of detail about what's going to be taught. Um, instead, what he's got here is a, a, a link to schedule your dog's free consultation, evaluation, and temperament test. So he's immediately closing. What, what he's done differently here than here is that, see, most people, they don't want to be bored necessarily with a lot of copy, especially a lot of boring copy. So he's kept it very brief, and then he's immediately asked for the sale, which is to get them to, to click here. Remember, your website is just like a first date. It doesn't have to tell them your entire life story. It doesn't have to tell them everything about everything. It should be just enough to tickle them to want to go out on a second date with you. And in the context of dog training websites, that second date is picking up the phone and calling you for that phone consultation. And then maybe that phone consultation sells them on the in-person consultation where you can have a better chance of selling them because you're face to face, or maybe it doesn't, maybe it just closes the deal uh, on the phone. But either way, all it is is a first date. I don't have to tell them everything about everything. It could just be very brief if it's done correctly. So it's got to get their attention. It's got to then amplify their interest. It's got to build their desire. I'm talking about the website in general. And then it's got to get them to take action. Okay, same deal on your about page. Again, this is basically reiterating what's on every other page. I mean, you've got an opportunity here to tell them something unique about you and your story but you're just repeating the same thing. Uh, same deal down here. It's, this is, it looks like it's the exact same content. And it's not only down here that I get to meet the trainer. Now the problem with this, meet the trainer, Seth. Okay, there, there's not even a last name. That's how not a real person you are at this point with your website. Okay, you, to establish credibility, you need to have your first name. And ideally your middle name and your last name. And guess what else should be on here? Guess what's missing from not only this entire website, but specifically this page. But I looked all over this website. I couldn't find one picture of you, Seth. The one, th the thing that makes Palm Manor's 
more different than any other dog training company in America is you. And you've completely dropped the ball. There's not even one picture of you. And it doesn't even say your name. And when we do talk about you, it's way down here at the bottom of the about page. Why isn't it at the top? Why isn't there a picture of you? Um, and, and more testimonials, you know, talking about how amazing you are. So uh, in that regard, it's, it's, it's really lacking. You know, people don't want to work with companies. They want to work with real people. You know, again, look at uh, Cesar Milan. You know, what made Cesar Milan so compelling? What made his whole uh, doctrine and TV show do so well in the in the ratings was because he was a very interesting, compelling person. He was this guy that grew up in a small town in Mexico, and he, he had this this gift of communicating with animals. What, whatever it is, it doesn't even matter if it's real. He had a story that made him interesting. It made people sit up and take notice. Who is this guy? I want to learn more about this guy. You're not doing that for me, and you've got a great pedigree. You've you've got an amazing you know, track record of working with dogs and serving your community. You've got an amazing story, but you're not really telling it here. And I can't connect with you because there's no picture of you here or, or really anywhere on the website. And finally, on the contact page, you've got same deal. We've got a lot of wasted space on the above the fold area here. I want to point out now these, thank God, these are not clickable. But for those of you watching at home, um, you never, ever want to put links to social media right beneath your call to action right because we want them to either click the call pick up the phone to call or fill out the contact form and by reminding them here that such a thing as facebook and instagram and pinterest exists you're potentially interrupting the sale again making the sale in this context is getting them to pick up the phone and call so I would, and since these aren't even clickable anyways, which it's good that they're not, but there's no reason for this to be here. Um, this, my guess is probably this came with the, the WordPress theme that your designer used. Um, and it, it, it's a good example of some WordPress theme designer who knows nothing about marketing. But I think probably if you go into your theme features, they'll give you the opportunity to, to dis, um, um, disengage these, to get rid of these. And I would definitely do that. The big problem, though, is that you've got all this wasted space. Instead, here, we should have a very strong offer. Contact us for a free consultation, evaluation, and temperament test for your dog. An $89 value, yours free for a limited time. Again, I'm not saying copy this. Don't copy this. But come up with your own strong offer, your own strong call to, call to action. And I have no doubt if you... If you take some of the advice that I've given you in this video, if you take all of this advice, um, this website is going to do so, so much better. So if you make all of these changes to your website, will it take a marginal Google ads campaign and make it successful? I don't know. All marketing is a test, but I can guarantee you this. It will work much better. Not only will it make your Google ads campaigns work much better, it'll make all of your marketing and advertising efforts work much much better if you hand out a business card that has your website url on it and they take it home and they look up your website um hey guess what now your business cards work better if you run advertisements in your local entertainment newspaper and they see the ad and then they open up their phone and they go to your website is it going to make the results that you get from your newspaper advertising work that much better absolutely absolutely it helps everything in your business by focusing on your copywriting so listen buy a couple of copywriting books this is not typically the type of thing you can outsource to have somebody else do i mean you kind of can but really the best person to write copy write persuasive text for your website is you and it's a type of investment that will pay off for the rest of your life hundreds of thousands of dollars now i know it's way more fun to head outside with your dog and do some training than it is to read some boring book on copywriting but you're running a business and you need to do this if you want to be successful with any type of advertising campaign. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. I know this was kind of a long one, but hopefully there's been some benefits. I can guarantee that whether it's AdWords or SEO or newspaper or radio, anything that you do, the lessons in this video are going to dramatically help you get better results from your website.
Hey, and if you'd like to learn more about how to grow your dog training business, how to get more desperate dog owners to pick up the phone and call you, head on over to dogtrainertoolbox.com and check out what we've got to offer. We've got several trainings and tutorials, even some free stuff, some videos, as well as different services that you can use to get you from where you are now to where you have always dreamed to be as a professional dog training business owner. I'm Adam Katz for dogtrainertoolbox.com, as well as the Facebook group, the Dog Trainer Marketing Group. Talk to you soon, guys.